artwork inspired by Sikhism is going on display in Leicester from tomorrow. Uh, alongside an exhibition of contemporary Sikh art, you'll also be able to find out about a new online Sikh museum that's going to preserve and showcase objects to illustrate the links between Sikh and UK cultures. It's been created by a group here in Leicester. Gurinder Singh Mann is from the Sikh Museum Initiative and he told me what we can expect from the exhibition at the Adult Education College, which opens tomorrow. A number of portraits which have actually been created by members of the Sikh community, um, not just from the UK, but from around the world as well. And the type of themes they cover is, you know, it covers like the religious aspects of the Sikh faith through to the military aspects as well, going all the way through to abstract ideas as well. So it gives um, other people an opportunity to find out a bit more about the Sikh faith as well, which is excellent, which leads us nicely into the online museum, which is a world first, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. We've just received um, a HLF grant of £65,000 to actually kind of work on this online museum, which will essentially mean that we'll be able to digitise a number of objects from across the UK and then present them virtually so people can see them online on a website but also we'll be able to employ things like the headsets as well, the virtual reality headsets, so people can actually kind of envisage what it likes to actually see objects. So the h and firm, obviously, um, you can actually bid for certain grants, so to speak, and uh, we'd already actually had finished off a exhibition stroke grant anyway, which was our anglo Sikh Wars exhibition, which we took place at Newark Houses Museum. And uh, they were very keen for us to actually develop some of the ideas we'd already been working on. So as a result of that, uh, the team got together, put in another bid. But this this time around, we also wanted to incorporate things like digital upskilling as well. So as part of our actual project, we actually want to try and train people up in the new technologies we're using as well. This has taken a long time in the in the planning, the initial idea, through to getting the funding and so on. You must mm. be delighted that it's finally coming to be. Absolutely. I mean, uh, we've been toying with this idea, so to speak, uh, for a couple of years, and we have actually kind of designed um, a number of items in 3D, which we did showcase on uh, tablets and so forth and so forth. But to actually really that uh, you know people have got faith in what we're trying to do in terms of actually trying to create this Anglo. We've got to call it an Anglo Sikh uh, museum mm. because we're also looking at aspects of how some of these Sikh objects actually you know affect the British community as well. So it's a kind of like a dual kind of identity. Just give us an example of some of the things that maybe link uh, contemporary UK culture with the Sikh faith and 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 vice versa. Okay, well um, from our aspect, for instance, so. Uh, uh, what we noticed, or what we noticed as a part of the Sikh Museum Initiative, is that um, if we look across the whole of the UK, there is a number of objects which actually link the both communities together because of the British and the East India Company going over to the Punjab and you know bringing over a number of items, and therefore you know it has these connotations as well. But what it does also do is it actually reflects on the country and the relationship as well um, in terms of these objects and what uh, people can do to actually find out more about these things as well. There's still a fair amount of ignorance of of the Sikh faith uh, amongst uh, people of other faiths and no faith here in Leicester? Um, I, I think it's all, there's always room for improvement. I think living in a multicultural city like Leicester does provide that kind of symbiosis in a sense of all cultures meeting in different kind of spaces as well. Um, but what it does do when we have exhibitions like this, it actually brings people together. We knew that from our anglo Sikh Wars exhibition where we had uh, a number of people from different faiths coming down and actually really enjoying it and actually saying, look, we actually learnt something here. I think that's the key idea where people can learn from each other. We'll actually, you know, showcase the Sikh faith in a different aspect as well because, you know, you can see the, the religious dimension, but, you know, th seeing um, ideas and history through art gives it another dimension as well. And, you know, it, it draws in a different kind of audience as well, I suppose. Are you excited about the exhibition as well? Have you had a sneak preview? Oh, well, I've had a sneak preview because I've been help putting it up. <laughs> <laughs> so it is going to be absolutely fantastic. Um, it is really great. And to be in the centre of town um, at the Leicester Adult Education College um, on Beaver Street, um, we've got the gallery space there. It's on for three months. And we're also going to have a number of events as well. So we're going to have arts and crafts sessions over the half-term break. And we're also going to have a number of lectures from key people across the UK. You know what would be really good? We'll be maybe taking this on tour, uh, at least around Leicestershire, but you know, possibly even further further afield. Is, is that something that might happen? It, quite possibly, because we are uh, working with an organisation called ArtSeek who are based in Birmingham, so they are the ones who have actually been working with us to actually bring this to fruition, and they're also talking about doing something like this um, across the UK as well, so we'll have to watch this space, really. And in terms of the uh, of the online museum, mm -hmm. um, how can people find that? If you if anybody listening now is interested in you know uh, logging in and having a look around in that mm -hmm. museum, how can they do that? Okay, so at this stage, it's the earliest phases where 
where we're actually still developing at, at this stage. But if people want to go and find out a bit more, they can visit our website, which is www seekmuseum.org.uk and over the coming months we're going to be developing the ideas you know um, also actually engaging with people as well engaging with private collectors because a number of private collectors have said to us we've got these objects we'd never show them to anyone but we're quite happy to show it in an online museum so you know it's also bringing out these individuals that who we wouldn't normally actually have these kind of meetings with as well and in terms of the museums across the UK we've had a great relationship in terms of objects and people offering uh, ideas in terms of what we can and what we can't do. Karinda Singh Mann from the Sikh Museum Initiative. That exhibition at the Adult Education College opens tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock and it continues right the way through until Tuesday the 31st of July. So plenty of opportunities to go along and see that this summer.